Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Hansol Technical Ski Competition. I'm here in Phoenix Park, and it's the beginning of this incredible technical event. There are over 300 competitors. Um, there's long turns, short turns, combination runs, a fast short turn. I don't even know what that is, but we're in for an incredible experience. I'm going to do my best to bring the whole event to you, and I can't wait to get stuck into it. Stay tuned. had the uh, introduction sort of ceremony uh, where we collect our bibs, get a, a welcome pack. Uh, I am bib number 282. They gave a big uh, talk in Korean, so I couldn't really understand much. They started to talk about, uh, the couple of the judges started to talk about some of the technique that they're looking for in the long turns and short turns. Uh, the only thing I could decipher from my neighbor who uh, we used a bit of Google Translate was excessive inclination today is a bad thing. So that will deduct points away. So really what's going through my mind right now is just try and, try and ski my best. You know, it's tough to, I haven't been training for this competition at all, really apart from the past day or two. So yeah, so I'll just give it my best and see how it goes today. First up, we had long turns. Definitely was feeling nervous at the top of this run. I'd been standing around pretty much all morning. The run is steep. The long turn they're looking for in this competition is vastly different to what I've ever done before in instructor exams or you know in a GS race or anything. So definitely was a bit of a steep learning curve I had to go through. My goal was to be as clean on the edge as I could, travel with as much pace down the hill as I possibly could. And I'd been advised that the number of turns you should aim to do is between five to seven. I scored 274 points in this run, an average score that had me sitting outside the top 20. This wasn't my favorite run, not a massive fan of the skiing here. I think I let the nerves get the better of me, but c'est la vie, we move on to the next. Now on to short turns, which was the second and final run of the first day. I was definitely feeling more confident going into the short turn run. My goal was really just to ski my short turn, try and ski it as best as I could, try and keep my skis in contact with the snow, allowing me to sort of generate some pressure early on the outside ski on a run as steep as this was. And, you know, I was, I was happy with the run when I got to the bottom and I noticed that they'd scored me in first place at that moment in time with 279 points. Honestly, it was, it was an incredible feeling. Um, I've done technical competitions in Japan and now in Korea and I mean, it's, it's not that often that a foreigner gets to score, you know, that highly and sit in first place, albeit, you know, it was only for a little brief moment in time, but um, overall really, really happy with my short turns run. And after it was all said and done, uh, my short turns had me placed in seventh, which I was really, really over the moon with. So um, a good finish to the first day. Good morning, we're back in, in Phoenix Park and at the Hansol competition. Ready to go for an amazing day two of the Hansol technical event. First up, we have the combination run. Now, the combination run I was feeling good for. I'd been given some advice that I should do it on my slalom ski over my 27 meter GS ski and it made sense because they're looking for long carve turns, um, short turns, and a medium sort of 
carve turn as well and it's going to be easier to perform those three turn types on a slalom ski as opposed to a 27 meter gs however all of the competitors they all have three skis with them they have this a slalom ski for short turns a gs ski round about a 23 to 25 meter radius for long turns and then they have uh, what I would call a middle carver or an instructor carver, which is between a 170 to a 180 length, and it's you know anywhere from 15 to 19 meter radius. They all use that ski for the combination. So I'm happy with my combination run. I felt like I skied it quite well, and I, I carried out the plan that I had in my mind to try and show the best dynamic skiing I could for the ski that I had but unfortunately it didn't score particularly well. Wasn't the result I was after, but I'm happy with my scheme that I put forward here. After the combination run, the scores are collated and the top 50 to 55 male competitors and top 20 to 25 female competitors qualify through to the semi-final event, which is a speedy short turn. The speedy short turn event was an entirely new concept. Your run is timed and you're required to make two lane changes during your short turn run. The short turns themselves get a technical score and then also the time that you post contributes in some way to your final overall score for the run. Something that I learned after the fact was the weight that is put onto the time. So really they are looking for speed down the hill uh, with control as you change lanes, but really, really prioritizing speed. So that's something I learned after the fact. And after the speedy short turn run, the top 16 male competitors and top eight female competitors make it through to the super final. So they've announced the final 16 guys and the final eight ladies. Unfortunately, I didn't make it through to the top 16 final. How the super final works is it is a separate event for the top 16 male competitors and the top eight female competitors. The scores each of those competitors have collected during the long turns, short turns, combination and speedy short turns will combine for their final score and that will be for the overall champion. The super final is an opportunity for the top guys and girls to battle it out in a round robin style short turn off um, to essentially get more prize money. It's a pretty wicked, really, really cool system that they have. And it honestly just creates another opportunity for the top guys and girls to earn some more money out of the event. So it was really cool to watch. And, you know, hopefully if I go back, I'll be part of it next time. And that's a wrap on the Hansol Technical Ski Competition here at Phoenix Park in South Korea. What an honor and a privilege it's been to be part of this event and to represent the CARV team during the contest. Um, I want to thank the CARV team for bringing me out here to South Korea. It's been an unforgettable experience. And to you guys watching, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. Please like and follow the channel. There's plenty more to come.